Okay, tubers, here we go, round three. I'm going to start off by definitely taking these and wrapping these up in the bolts that I took off. Should have three of these and three nuts and the other stuff. So, I'll make all these videos in one. And then I'll be putting it on later this evening. Okay, uh, on hand got the on air bracket off. And I put all the bolts back in this time. And I took them studs out with them, uh, it's star, it's a little star, uh, thing and it says it's and looks like an E8. I don't know if you can see it, but anyway, and then I took this on the back and zip tied to the bow tone. But took everything out, took the main out. Right now I'm working on getting this harness right here. This It's the main harness. I'm going to put tape across like this so no dirt gets in there the best I can. I will write main on these two. Do like this. And then pressing it down. That one I ain't really worried too much about. I just want to try to keep all the dirt I can out of my connections. Then you ain't trying to get something in there to pick it and, or blow it out with the air hose or whatever. This way you definitely know. And, and on your main main PC, main computer, pretty sure that's what that box is, it's right here, it has blue and red, and then it tells you, uh, eat what side they go to, but, if you do it like, if you do it like this, you shouldn't have no problem, because, for one, I'm filming this part, but I didn't film taking it apart for you because it's pretty simple. There's three bolts hold that on. That's on top of your overflow tank, and then there's three bolts under that. The overflow tank comes right out. But I did that. The only reason I did that is so I can take this. And squeeze it over and get it out and start taking this out. So this is main. I know my writing ain't the best, but as long as you understand your writing, you're good. There we go. And I don't have, since I don't the other main one, it took the actual PC out. I'm going to go ahead and tape this one too. Also, throw some tape around this. Just something to keep. Because this tape right here it ain't very sticky. It's a dollar store tape. And the only reason I didn't put this on that cable, because I said about a residue, and you get something in the cable and the cable will fill it. Uh, but that was on part one of these videos. This is like part three. Now, I'm coming up here. So that looks like a condenser dryer or something, I'm going to say. Well, I'm going to write on here. Since I don't know exactly what it is. There is my uh, stupid memory. I just had that ink pen. You guys probably seen where I laid it and you're laughing at me. Here it is. AC and I'm going to say dryer. I don't 
Don't know what that is, but that's what I'm calling it. This one is actually going back in the frame. So what you got to do on these, is you can't see it very good, but it's got a little blue little tab there. And you got to get that tab to uh, squeeze in and pull it out. It's a locking tab. When I use the snap needle those pliers, Squeeze gently, and you can actually probably almost push on your side. Let me see. That's how I took the last one out. I'm going to see if it works this time. Yep. I just push and pop right out. There it goes. And just gently pick that up and pull it apart. And I'm going to make that... I don't even know what that is. Keep on. Uh, that's. I'm going to call it. Uh, harn, harness. To back. And. Left side. And I'm going to put bottom because it goes down the bottom. Alright, let me go ahead and get some more of the sun. And I'll show you some more. Okay, I worked my way where I got most all the wires off. You're going to have to use a stench and something close to this. A little shorter work. Get the starter bolt off. The starter bolt closest to the frame, I would recommend, and I didn't get it all the way on there, if you can see, I got it on there the best I could. Put a knuckle on there because it's so dirty. Yours might be cleaner. But put a knuckle on that and this because this right here, when it goes down, it's actually hitting part like the A-arm. A and you can't get it on there. And you don't want to put that on there like this or try to grab it because you can what you're going to do is end up messing up the end of it, and then you can't tighten it back up. So, that's my little tip to you, and go ahead and break them free. I ran the one close to the frame, I ran it all the way down, and then I took the other one out and jiggled it, and it popped out, because it wouldn't go down, it was hidden. That's how close it is. So, that's my little tip to you guys about, because... As like I was saying, all these wires are out, but I'm, I'm still chasing one wire right here. I think it's starter wires, I'm pretty sure, but I got to chase that and I'll hook it. And then I should be able to pick this up and start to go that way, the wiring. Okay, YouTubers. Uh, I got it all out like I was saying. Got this up. They, it was uh, a starter wire right here. It is. That's not the main. That's uh, for the starter solenoid. I got that out. I made it all the way up to here. You want to be careful when you're pulling these up. And I got it all the way over to here. But this it's got a wiring harness also the way it's looking. I haven't got these hoses out yet. This wiring harness goes back in the back here, down behind the distributor. So I'm going to work on getting these these uh, radiator hoses off, pulling the distributor and unhooking that. And then I'll, I'm almost ready to actually take that wiring harness and set it aside. Okay, tubes. Uh, I went ahead and took in two hoses off. It's, it looks like a mess in here, but anyway, I took in two hoses off. Then I took the distributor cap off. If, I'm pretty sure you can see it in the picture. Yeah. Uh, 
it's right there anyway. And when I took them hoses off, make sure you left your bucket under there because I took it when I took that thing off, drained it. I took them hose off, still had a vapor lock in it, and it poured out. As you, I got a blanket down because it, it somehow missed the bucket. But anyway, it looks like uh, it's a Torx 20, a T20 that takes your distributor cap off. So if you need to know that, there it is. Then I'm going to try to pull the extributor. I'm thinking might be 10, 12, or 13. I do not know. So we're going to get in here and see if we without breaking anything. Get a wrench or something on there and loosen that up. Because it looks awful, awful small. And it's definitely not a 13. It, for you guys out there, it looks like it's a 10. So I got a 10 here, and I got I think I got 10 ratchet. That's a ratchet wrench, guys. If I can break it free, I might be able to use that ratchet wrench to loosen it up. Pull it out, and then I can see back here where that wire is that I got on hook. It's another wire. It goes this main, and I loosened up pretty easy. I know you're probably laughing because my butt's in your face, but and this don't feel good on my hip neither. But I want to get this done. So if you hear me moaning a little bit, you know why. That bolt came right out. I'm gonna, it's got, should have a, uh, like a big C, I believe. That's what's on this. Like a C. Or something that holds that in there. Well, the stripper's coming off, guys. I'll, actually, I gotta unhook it too. That just pops right off. It seems like... There it goes. I got it out. And I was right, guys. I'll show you. It's got a big C that holds it on. So what I'm going to do, like I, I said before, you didn't see me do this because I told you I did it. What I'm doing on some of these parts, I'm taking zip ties. If I can get started, I might get somewhere. I'm zip tying that in there. And then what I'm going to do, since I should have loosened that up a little bit. I still can. See what I meant by loosening it up? Then I'm going to put a zip tie in there. Try to. I know it looks like I just took a zip tie off, but I didn't. If I'm careful, I can probably get it very back on. Because all it is is to hold it. These are these real important things, I guess, and stuff are going in my box here. I got a bottom drawer that I can put them in. One see if I could use one zip tie, but looks like I can't. So I'm up sacrifice another zip tie. And what I'm doing. putting that ring on there so I can't lose it and then the bolts in there too see it guys and then I'm gonna put that down here I'm gonna grab this distributor cap now these bolts right here will pop out as you just seen it but I'm gonna leave them in there and gently set it in my bottom drawer so there that is, and now I'm going to work on that last connection. Okay, I, I found more than one uh, connector back there 
there's one that for this turbo, I unplugged that. There's one for an O. I got that unplugged. Then it looks like this splits off. One goes that way and one's still going this way. And this thing is not, it is like a fuel injection, but it don't have injectors that I know of. I don't see injectors, so. But there's fuel line right here on the main intake goes back and that's what we're trying to get a wrench or something to get on there now. Crack in line spree. And I probably don't have one. I'll probably have to get one. Because it's probably metric. Nope, I got, there's one here, this, I cut this before, so it must have been when I did my brawling balls. It fits right on there, and it fits in there good. I just got to think, if I'm turning that in backwards, going up, it's got to go that way to loosen, if I'm right. I know some of them, some of got some people on here probably be laughing. I hope I'm wrong, but I don't because I don't want to tear anything up. And guys, I am right. I got fuel coming out right now because the sign was pressurized. So you want to be careful because we still got a lot of pressure on it. Could shoot up here and get in your eyes or anything. Then I'm going to try to take something and actually put on these lines. That's the only thing having these lines at all. If you had smell o vision, there's one, guys. You definitely should be smelling it. Gas fumes. Let's see if I can crack this other one free. The other one was real loose. And this one crack free. You don't have to have them really, really tight. A lot of people think when you torque and stuff, rims and tires or whatever, torque, man, make sure it don't come off. That's actually bad on some rims, if you ever torque it. Sinks it into the rim. Then it makes the hole bigger. But anyway, me chattering about that. In these gas on top, and then it looks like it's a uh, eight millimeter up here, and I got a ten down there, and I can take these uh, lines up. One's uh, a main, and one's a return. I would say I do not know. That's why I'm taping everything and marking, so I know where everything goes. I'll show you, show, you, show you this line in a minute. I know you don't want to sit there and watch and watch and so. When I get it off, I'll show it to you. Like I said, I'd show it to you. This right here goes uh, that way. And what I did is took. It, I'm, I had to make this from a brown or something. But 5 8 and I put it on there and loosened them up. Right there, it's pressure. These just slide in right behind, uh, or right in front of your big throttle body, your butterfly, and your main. And it has a uh, like an X, but it's got two C's, and they clip down and hold that in. And I put all my nuts and bolts where I took them out. I put them back in. I'm gonna put this down in my drawer. The stuff that I, I'm really concerned about. I'm setting in the drawer. The bigger stuff, it, if you tap it or here or there, it's not going to or anything. I, I'm putting it in the back in that big mat. Anything else, trying to keep in the drawer or where it's not going to be busted. But I took the brain box and actually set it inside. Okay, YouTubers, uh, one casualty. 
I didn't really, it's been a while since took these off. All you have to do for these, and let me see if I can show you, is push this down right here and line that circle up. I broke the clip over here. Should be able to get that little white piece, but you just push this down, see where it's lining up, and it pops straight apart. So, my, my bad. I think it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a flex something, but, uh, it's got pressure in it or something, so I don't, couldn't tell you. Okay, what I'm doing, as you just seen, I broke out one flex. That flex went up from back here up to here to this little module, or whatever it is. This one, this goes over here. What I'm going to try to do is take this intake off. So I can get back there and see where them wires go. So I just don't want to get in there and start jerking and break wire. So I looked uh, the small that came right off. That was a 7 8 spit right on there. That loosened right up. I got lucky. Everything, I'm getting lucky on this car. It's coming apart. When you go to put it back together, it's going to be a different story. But anyway, there's that. I got that off. Uh, we're going to try to pull this intake, but it looks like they're 3 8 so I'm going to try to pull it all in one unit. Okay, uh, a lot of you will believe this, but I couldn't believe it. It's been so long since I did it, but what holds that intake on is 8 bolts. 2 here, 2 there. That one's notched. Looks like a battery notch. Two up front, now whole thing pops off. Bolts look like this. And you can see it, and you can tell this motor was bad because you're not seeing that much in there. But see how shiny these are? Look at that carbon deposit. Well, you can see where I'm scratching on it. Yeah. Well, it looks like it gumped up all the old galleys and everything, and the bearings wasn't getting uh, properly old and spun a bearing. These, when you put them back in, they actually have little tabs on them. Let me see if I can show you the tab. Here it is. And that tab will fit into these little holes here. It'd be a lot cleaner. It doesn't matter right now because this motor is trash. Can be rebuilt as long as the crank and rods ain't. Too really gone, but I'm not going to get and use one. Now I can get in here and get this because I'm going to take that out. That's your old pressure sensor unit, and I'm going to unscrew it there and unscrew it there. Because I'm, remember, I told you I'm trying to take all the sensors off that I can. But I'm trying to take all the big stuff out, which it's a lot easier. So, all right, let me throw that in the trash. Set you guys back up here. So I don't know how much more I'm going to do tonight. I've been out here for probably about an hour, roughly. I don't know. Been taking a lot of breaks. You can see my comfy chair there. But that's what you got to do when you, you're disabled. So, Okay, tubes. So we got a lot done on this uh, little... Episode this short little uh, time I was out here. I still got to find my one ratchet. My sister came along with me, teasing me and messing with because she always teases me about taking all my tools. So uh, I'm missing a ratchet with a 13 millimeter deep well. But anyway, let me show you what I did, got done. I went ahead and took the water pump off. I might take the harmonic balancer off. Now, I don't know. I have the pullers to do that. I got all the intake off. This is setting. Uh, the hardest part is going to be tracing them wires down. Or see if I can pull it and leave the wires. Hang them up somewhere. Because I don't want to pinch them. Because everything's unconnected. Just a couple wires still. Uh, 
like I said, this motor was gone. You can, I mean, I'll show you another day in the oil, in the daytime, but this is what happens when you don't do an oil change. It, it gummed up all the little uh, oil galleys and everything, probably the pump, and starved the bearings. Now this is supposed to be a roller bottom end, but cam in here. These are right in here supposed to be roller. I don't know. Really never had any of these. Uh, I had one apart, but I never took the heads or anything off. This one I'm gonna strip down because it could if it could be fixed. I get a hot tank and fix it if it was cheap enough, but I doubt it. I can get a used motor and just put make sure it's good and put bearings and stuff in it. But everything's unconnected, all the wires, uh, that's what I said, the only thing I'm missing <laughs> is my ratchet. I try to keep all my stuff pretty neat and everything else, but it's gone. I don't know, my sister was teasing me and set it somewhere, or what happened, but it, I can't find it. And it didn't fall in the radiator or anything, but anyway, thanks for watching. If, uh, that's what I said, if you got any little tips... How to take this apart or even put it back together easier. Write them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.